Hello, I am going to show you today how to identify fault planes in the field and how to measure fault planes and the lineation associated to them. But the first question will be, how can you tell if this is a joint plane or a fault plane? this plane and see that you have estriation all along this plane and you can follow this here and if you can follow this here and even further down If you look closely, you will see that this estriation have ends all over this place. If you slide your hands like this, it will be smooth, but if you do it like this, it's very rough. Another way, and this is a trick, is if you have a look to your nail, you will see that the end of the nail have a round or a square end. It's exactly the same as this end of estriation. So if you put the nail like this, you will also know that this is a slide in this way. So now we know that this is a fold and not a joint because one block has moved related to the other. Let's see how we measure a fold plane. I will use this compass, which is a private compass, and it's very good because you can take two measurements at one. And I will measure deep duration and deep from this plane. Let's do it. The deep duration of this plane will be 280 with 50 degree deep in angle. And now we are gonna record the lineation, which is very important because it will tell you the duration of movement of this block related to this one. that alineation is measured in a different way than a plane so lines from lines you take deep duration sorry trend and plunge let's measure the trend you place the compass parallel to the alineation and the trend of the alineation is 292 with 45 degrees but you also have to keep in mind that with alineation is not only the train and plunge, it's also the duration of plunging. So it's 290 with 45 and it's plunging towards the northwest. Why is it important to record the alineation? Because it will tell you the duration of movement in the fall plane. And if we do this, and we already know that this block has a slide down, then the hanging wall has a slide down towards the northwest according to delineation, then this is a normal fault. 